Uh, and Erin French is with us this morning. And Erin is going to show us a few recipes out of her cookbook, The Lost Kitchen, which is also the name of your restaurant. Good yes, morning. Good morning. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Thanks for leaving the peacefulness of Maine oh, to come to New York City and show us some stuff. So what are you making for us? Okay, so we're making, um, we're going to start with a squash, sort of like a squash salad. So um, what we have are we have this squash here. Um, you can use pretty much any kind of squash you want. Just get something small, go to the market. Uh, any variety, okay. um, quarter it or cut it in rounds and just want to brush it with a little olive oil to get it nice and moist. You're going to put a little bit of uh, nutmeg, grate it right on top. Okay. Nutmeg is a really nice flavor with squash. Um, some salt, a little bit of pepper and then a pat of butter. Easy thing ah. is you just wrap it right up. This is the best way to do dishes. Okay, I like that. Throw it in the oven, uh, 425. It's going to roast. It's going to steam. While that's roasting, you're going to mm -hmm. make your salad. So we have uh, some apple slices here. We just sort of made the matchsticks. Uh, we have some shallots with vinegar. So this just softens them and makes them nice and sweet. Okay. A bit of olive oil just to make it nice and salady. And then for some sweetness, we have Ooh, maple. maple syrup. And that's what's so special about your cookbook is that you really stick to the season. And at your yeah. restaurant, too, you always cook in the season. And these are all fall flavors that you're working with. Totally. In here. Apples and squash. Um, I folded a little bit of thyme into this. Mm -hmm. And then so um, you take the squash out. It's all nice and roasted. Okay. So all we do is we're just going to take a piece and we're going to talk. It right on here. Mm -hmm. I put a little bit of arugula. So this is almost like you could serve this as a side dish or you right. could have it just for lunch. It should be a really nice lunch. Awesome. Um, and then just top The presentation bit. looks so good. While we walk around to the pork yeah, chops, because I'm everything. obsessed with pork chops, how are the Chanel squashes? Chanel has basically crushed the biggest <laughs> no. pork chop I've ever seen. I don't want this, this to end. Amazing. Well, I don't think it's going to for a while. So The secret to the brine. Yes. You have to have a brine. So pork chops, you've got boiling water, four cups, and then you have salt, sugar, uh, peppercorns, and you have bay leaves and uh, All juniper. All flavors. Throw it right in. Mm -hmm. Let this cool down. And then once it's cool, you can put in your pork chops. Let them sit overnight for about okay. 24 hours. In cool water. All the, yeah. Okay. All the flavor is in there. You don't have to season it. It's already done. Oh okay. Um, so then we're going to make our side dish. So we have shallots with rosemary. Mm. We're just going to throw in some apples and get them sauteing. Okay. And then saute them down. We're going to add a bit of this apple brandy. Um, if you don't want to use apple brandy, you could use apple cider or white wine. Okay. Just to bring out that uh, just flavor. Just to bring out that flavor. More. Throw in a little butter. And then we have potatoes that we've already cooked, so they're ready. We're just going to warm them up. Okay. So we have this nice little warm apple potato salad to Let go with that cook chops. down. By the yep. way, that salad is incredible. Oh, it's my God. It's a nice so compliment. Yeah, <laughs> like applesauce and, and potatoes all together. So we so have good. seared our, after these brined overnight, we patted them dry, we mm -hmm. seared them. We've got a nice sear, and then um, we roast them in the oven, finish them off nice and kind of medium. Medium's yes. a nice one. You don't have to overcook pork chops no, anymore, No, nice right? thick chops so you'll never have them dried out. They'll be brined and you can get a good sear, roast them off. Awesome. So. And then just to top it all off, a beauty of apple cider donuts. Oh, which really? You've really just stayed in the whole fall season Apples. for an entire meal. So I need to dig into this pork chop. Erin, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, you head to today.com <laughs> slash food. And you also have a new memoir coming out, too. Yes. Yeah. 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 memoir. Talking about I've your... never seen Peter smile this much yeah. ever. No. Like, he can't <laughs> stop smiling. Your story is great, but the food is... Thank you. Well, that's what makes the story so great. Oh. I have a weird obsession with pork chops, so I'm just going to Dylan, take this whole this thing with me. I'm going for it. Okay, we're right back after this. We it's amazing. Write, we got to send a postcard. Oh, my goodness. Mm.